YouTube, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. I hope you guys are having an awesome day or night, man. In today's video, I'm coming at you guys with a tutorial, man. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a vintage look that I recently just did for a music video. You know, I've been into vintage looks a lot recently, man, and I actually just picked up my first film camera because I'm really starting to get into like the vintage look. And I feel like with my photos and the edits that I do just off of my photos, I feel like they're more vintage. And I just enjoy the vintage look, so. I'm gonna show you guys how to give your footage a more vintage look in this tutorial, so. Let's head over to Premiere and get started. All right, so I have this clip in my timeline. I already have it colored, I just have the color off. So the first step we're gonna do is, <clears throat> we're gonna duplicate this clip once. And now you have that clip duplicated. So you're gonna wanna go to your effects tab and type in Gaussian Blur. And then drag that onto your top clip. And then I'm gonna boost the Gaussian Blur to say, let's do 35. Now you see that it's kind of blurred. Make sure you click repeat edge pixels so you don't get that weird stuff around the edges. And then go up to opacity and I'm gonna drop that down to 22%. That just kind of gives you that like, and that almost makes it look like it's, looks like it's glowing. So that's with it, without it. That's with it, without it, with it. I just think it looks more, you know, it really gives off that vintage vibe. So I think that looks pretty cool like that. And then another thing, I'm gonna, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these two clips and then I'm gonna nest them. Nest those two clips together and now it's just one one clip. So now what you wanna do is, once you have that clip nested, go back over to your effects tab and then type in posterize time. What this basically does is it allows you to change your frame rate. So as you can see, this is at 24. And I don't know if you've ever seen Super 8 film, but Super 8 film usually has like that choppy look and it just looks super vintage. So that's what this is used for. So I'm gonna drop that down to 18 and then we're gonna render that out. And now you can see this clip has more of a choppy look rather than just smooth. So I'm gonna take this off and show you guys what it looks like without the posterized time. It just looks a little bit smoother and then with the posterized time, it just looks a little bit more choppier like how a you know vintage film or eight millimeter film would look like so. That's pretty much it, honestly. <clears throat> Super simple. Um, obviously you can color it however you want, but I'm specifically coloring something to give off that vintage look. I like to put greens in the shadows and sometimes a little yellow in the highlights, man, because that's typically, that's typically the colors you see in, you know, older films and, you know, the vintage look, so. Oh, and one more thing. I'm actually gonna make a new sequence. So go up to File, New, and then Sequence. And then I'm gonna do DSLR 1080p 24. And then I'm gonna go up to my Sequence, Sequence Settings. And then I'm gonna change this to 1064 by 768. And that's just gonna give us like this square dimension. And then I'm, I'm gonna go back to this sequence, hit Control C and Control V. And now we're just gonna scale that clip <clears throat> to the frame size. Typically, I would change the dimensions before I even start editing the video, but I forgot to do that for this tutorial. Yeah, man, that's pretty much the vintage look, and I'm going to, like I said, add on some grain. Like I said, I typically would, you know, add on my own grain that I have, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna add it in Premiere. So <clears throat> go to your effects, or make an adjustment layer first. Go to this little paper tab right here where it says new item, click on it, and then it, you'll see adjustment layer, and then once you have that adjustment layer and drag it on to your timeline, then I'm gonna go to the effects tab again and then type in noise. Drag on noise into the, onto the adjustment layer. And then I'm just going to bump this up just a little bit. So let's see what looks best. You can use the color, use the color noise, but I typically don't like to. So I just turn that off and then I'm just gonna see what looks best. I really, when I'm going for a more vintage look, I like to, you know, have a decent amount of grain. So I'm gonna do, let's say, let's say 10. 10 works. All right, so now you can see, you know, that's the vintage vibe, man, the green. The Gaussian Blur really sells this look because, I don't know, it almost makes you feel like you're in like a dream. So I really like the way this looks, man. So this is with, let's go into the nested sequence and then turn off the Gaussian Blur so you guys can see what it looks like again. Boom, without the Gaussian Blur. Boom, without the, without the color adjustments, with the color adjustments. You can see I added a lot of green into the shadows and then turn back on your Gaussian Blur. And yeah, man, that's pretty much my process on, you know, creating a more of a vintage look video. So yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, man. Comment down in the comment section and let me know, please, what type of tutorials you guys would want to see from me because I currently cannot shoot music videos due to my ankle being broken. So I'm trying to create the best that I can. So tutorials would be 
the best for me right now, man. And I'm just like itching to create. So comment down in the comment section what tutorials you guys would like to see from me, man. Make sure you guys crush that like button, man. And if you're new here, man, consider subscribing. My content is more so based on music videos and the process of creating music videos and you know, effects for music videos, so. And sometimes I'll throw in some cinematic videos as well. I'm doing a series right now called the EOS R6 Journal. I love doing those things, man. I love going out and capturing the world with this beast of a camera. Make sure you guys click that notification bell to get notifications when I upload to this channel. Oh, and also, I will be doing another Just a Kid with a Camera hoodies drop this uh, fall, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I did a new design for these hoodies. I'm really stoked on these hoodies, man. And I did a different brand of hoodies, so they're way more comfortable and they just fit so much better, so make sure you guys stay tuned for those, man. Yeah, guys, that's it for me, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I am out, guys. Peace.